Hi, I'm Jeff Wilson, founder and president of 352, and today I want to talk to you about questions you should ask before you do your next web venture. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a startup pursuing a web venture as a new business, or if you are an established corporation looking to do a new web venture within your corporation. These are really solid questions that over our years of doing projects, we've learned that if we ask uh, folks coming to us with project ideas these questions, it really helps them be introspective and have a better project plan from the beginning. So let's get to the questions. Question number one, why do you want to do this? Now that sounds like a very simple question, but it really delves into what's the purpose behind this? What's the vision? What's the mission? What are the goals you're trying to accomplish with what you're doing? If you don't have a clear foundation at the very beginning as far as really why you want to do this, what's, what's the purpose? then you're not gonna have a very successful venture. So it's very important to get that vision, the mission, the goals for the project all established right off the bat. Question number two, what's my opportunity cost? When my sister went to law school a few years ago, I tried to convince her out of it because I felt that there was too big of an opportunity cost. And I was talking to her about how expensive law school was and she said, yeah, you know, it's this amount per year and this amount for books and everything like that. And I said to her, but what about the opportunity cost? What about what you would be earning the other the years that you went to law school if you were in another job that is the hidden cost that actually can turn out to be a very significant cost when you add that to the actual cost of attending school with a web venture it's the same thing it's not just the expense you're going to pay to to have an agency develop the website and uh, and and the expense you're going to pay to market it it's also the hidden cost of what else you could be doing with those funds and with your time which ultimately may be the most valuable thing. Question number three, will I be able to iterate? This one's really important. Do not start a new web venture and put your whole budget into that web venture from the very beginning. You have to be able to iterate. That means that you have to expect change, you have to plan for change, and you have to have resources, time and money set aside to be able to make changes to your project after, after the initial version of it is complete. The way that the web is working today, it's, it's silly to think that you could launch your project and have it be very perfect from the get-go. You want to launch a light version of your product, get user feedback, and be able to iterate to make your, your product a lot better. Number four, what's my niche? We've seen a lot of web ventures come through 352, and the ones that have been the most successful are ones that niche themselves to a certain audience. Uh, niche web ventures have a better chance of success because it's easier to gain exposure amongst that group. It's easier to market to that group. Everybody wants to create the next, next Facebook. I would love to create the next Facebook. The truth of the matter is, for every venture that becomes as successful as a Facebook, there's thousands of others that, that die on the vine. You have a better chance of success if you don't think about becoming the next Facebook, but you think about becoming the next Facebook within a particular industry slice, within a particular niche. That's where you really have the opportunity to realistically hit a home run. Question number five, how will I look polished? Design, quality of design is extremely important. There's a design principle which shows that if you, if you take two users and put them in front of the same computer on the same website, same exact functionality, same exact content, but one of the websites has a better design than the other, users will walk away and say that the website with the better design was more trustworthy and that they would be more likely to do business because that company is more reputable. That's how much of a difference design makes. You want to look polished with whatever you do. Number six, how will I be memorable? There's millions of websites out there. Your website needs to have some personality. Your venture needs to have some personality built into it. It has to be memorable. People have to be able to come to it and remember who you are, and it's not just another stale, bland website, but it's one that really pops, that gives some personality, gives exposure into who you are, what you believe in, why you're doing it, and, and creates a memorable experience for the user. Question number seven, how can I get to market quickly? Ideas are coming fast and furious these days and those who win are those who can get a product to market quickly. You really need to plan a quick launch strategy. If you sit around for you know, a year planning your idea before doing this really long development cycle, that's never gonna work in today's day and age. Instead, you need to have short development cycles. Don't worry as much about the planning get something built, get it out to market, get user feedback, and iterate on it. Those people win in today's world.
my final question, this one's my favorite, number eight, who hates my idea? You see, so often when you go to start a new venture, everyone's gonna tell you how great it is. Those people are not helping you. Those friends who are telling you, oh, that's such a great idea, you're gonna be super successful, those people aren't helping you. What you need to find is people who tell you why your idea is bad. People who tell you why your idea is gonna fail. People who hate your idea. Those are the people who are actually your friends who are gonna help you out with this venture because that's the feedback that you need to listen to in order to make your idea stronger and to be able to have a more successful venture when it does launch. Thank you.